Hello, all my internet friends. So, as I said in my last video, I believe my auto harp, which is right here, is out of tune. And this will be the first time I am tuning it. So we need a few things. We need the auto harp. Oh, is this open? We need the auto harp. We need this electric tuner. And where have I put that bag? There it is, okay. So we've got our bag here of tools. And this is the tool that we need. So, um, what I'm going to do first, I've never done this before with an auto harp, I've done it with the guitar many times. <sighs> Remove it from its case. And we have to figure out how we are going to attach Is that enough? Okay, so hopefully that'll do. Wait, okay. Uh, okay, we're not muting the string. Okay, so with this button, we turn it on and it's set to base, the, the B, V, U, C. C is for chromatic, which means it covers all of the notes. Uh, so, hopefully we're only a little bit off tune. And there we go. Okay, now, um, Going into our bag, take out a pit. What is this? I don't know what that is. <coughs> take out a pit. <coughs> 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 Got our finger pick here. And now let's start working the notes. We're on bass for some reason. Chromatic. So this is saying that this is a D. When down here, you can't see it, but it says F, F, G, C, D, E, F. So we want that D to be an F. So we take, move to the side a little bit. Okay, let's position the camera right. Okay. So, actually, you know what? This is. The finger pick is better, but I'm more used to just the regular pick. So here we go. It's 
still says it's a D, then we want it to be an F. So A, B, C, D, E, F. So it's off by two. And if we follow this line here, we want to go all the way up here. Nice. No. So our tool is now on that string. Um, and then we, we pluck the D. I don't know if we have to push down or... There we go, okay, so it's in place. I want to do this very gently so I don't break it. made it lower, I want to make it higher. Now it's a D sharp. Now it's an E, almost an F. There we go, we got an F, but it's not right F. Just doing this very delicately. There, we've got our F. Okay. Now next we want this to be a G. So what is this? D sharp, and we want it to be uh, so D sharp, and we want this to be A G. So now it's an F sharp. F sharp. Almost a G. It's a little bit too far. There. So now, so this is enough. This is a G. Next, we want it to be a C. It's an A sharp. Push it forward, A sharp, E, higher B, C, and we want it to be a C.
Okay, so next we have a D. This goes up here and to there. Okay, so to C and we want it to be a D. sharp almost a D too much of a D not enough of a D there's a D Let's see if this F is keeping its Fness. It is fairly much, but let's just correct it slightly. So we tighten it. There's a wrap. Okay. G. I'd like to add some comedy to this, but this is kind of monotonous work. But that being said, it's not a bad monotony. Um, It's really interesting, in fact, at least for me. This one goes up here and to here. So this is an off D to be an E. D sharp. D sharp. D sharp. E. 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 Okay. And you know what? You basically just keep doing that. For those who c couldn't see, um, <coughs> we 
basically take this tool and you start here, then here, then here, then here, then here, then here. And let's see, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. <coughs> Basically, I have to do I did about five, and I need to do 36 of them. So, that's the video demonstration of how to tune an auto harp.